Good morning, everyone. It is 6 a.m. We are headed to Logan Airport because this week is a travel vlog. We're actually headed to New Orleans for the IFA, the International Franchise Association's Emerging Franchisor Conference. I'm actually gonna be speaking at this conference, so I know I'm good, but I'm not sure if we even got Brandon a ticket, so hopefully he can get in. He can get me a ticket. <laughs> ceremony I'm excited to speak again I'm excited to travel again I'm excited to see the franchise community again we are there all week we're gonna film as much as we can for you guys as we're getting out there and uh, meeting people again getting educated and hopefully trying to pass along any and all experience we've gained over the last three years most excited of just going to New Orleans itself. Uh, bucket list item for me, never been before. Just seems like a cool, fun place, live music, great drinks, great food, everything like that. So we are there all week. We're gonna film as much as we can for you guys as we're getting out there and uh, meeting people again, getting educated, and hopefully trying to pass along any and all experience we've gained over the last three years. Underneath this, I thought it was gonna be cold. It's like 38 degrees back home, yeah. but uh, pretty sure it's like 70 here. I'm gonna die. Ready for a super slow jog? Yeah, that's all, <laughs> I, that's all I'm <laughs> capable of. I mentioned this earlier, but this is the IFA, the International Franchise Association's uh, Emerging Franchise Horse Conference. So for me, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be speaking about yet. I know there's five stages of franchise growth that we're gonna be talking about. It's opportunities for new franchise horse to kind of ask us questions, what we've learned along the ways, what we got right the first time, what we would improve if we could go back and do it again. So I'm gonna share my experience uh, as an emerging franchisor and hopefully share a little bit of wisdom, and then I'm gonna be here all week gaining as much wisdom as possible from everybody else who's been there and done that already. So really excited to kick off the conference today. Starts at noon time. We got a bunch of work to do before then, but until then, we're gonna enjoy this beautiful sunrise. We're gonna finish up this run. I'm still considering myself new to franchising. 
Um, actually, before I launched my franchise, I spent about six months doing what I call the franchise circuit, and I've attended every IFA conference and every franchise conference possible to learn. One of the things that I've heard a lot is if you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go with a team. And so I want to go far. Be a member of that brand, uh, and they've been great. I actually get a lot of uh, great, great candidates through VetFriend that actually found us on there that are able to read all about us. And for me, veterans have been great franchises. Um, the second part I think is actually from something I picked up from the conference along the way as well is uh, our marketing team put a lot of effort into trying to find who our target market is, who would be a great franchise candidate. So I'll give you a real world example. For us, we wanted uh, we wanted to look, look at salespeople who have B2B experience. So we narrowed it down and said, um, I'm in trouble now. We said like paychecks. <laughs> All right, uh, paychecks, salespeople who have B2B experience, specifically they'd be a great franchise candidate, right? They're already selling a product that's similar. So we said they would be very simple. Sorry, I'm getting in trouble over yeah, here. Yeah. I'm not, I, you said I can't say more talent. You can you sell said. paychecks. <laughs> So, I'll get ADP. Uh, I want to say ADP. <laughs> so, you know, for us, once we identified that, you know, we did things like LinkedIn email campaigns where you can physically target people that have a very specific job role at that very specific company, and then we can target our message exactly to them. Hey, I know people who work for ADP. Oh, don't like this, this, and this. Here's how this opportunity might resolve that, and that worked really well for us as well. All right, that's a wrap. Day one franchise conference was great. I was up on stage, uh, talked, a little bit, uh, shared my experiences in my first few years franchising, my first three years, tried to share what I've learned, good and bad, uh, but now it's off to happy hour and some networking and enjoy some of New Orleans. So that's where we're off to now. We will probably see you guys in the morning. Super creepy. I think this is the first music we don't have to worry about being copyrighted. So we're at here at Murals in a seance lounge. It's a secret seance lounge here for a couple of drinks. And uh, this place is pretty creepy, but pretty badass. This is, this is a good one. This is where I wish we could smoke a cigar. Yeah, me too. of the IFA Emerging Franchisors Conference. We're heading in now. Uh, I got a nice easy day, not speaking or anything like that today. Just taking notes, learning as much as I can. But we gotta go because we're about two minutes late.
a really good day. I would say, didn't necessarily learn anything that was like wildly revolutionary, but what I liked about it is today reinforced all the things we should be doing. Stuff that we already know that we should be doing. I took notes and notes and notes. Uh, things on the candidate journey, for example. Um, you know, I think there's over time just repetition doing, you know, talking to franchise candidate after franchise candidate, you take certain things for granted. So uh, really taking a look back, watching that candidate journey and listening to other people talk about it helped reinforce things you should do, like explaining things just a little bit further. So really good, great day uh, for that. Also got a chance to spend time with more vendors today. So whether you're looking for a broker or a franchise outsource company or a payroll provider, uh, coming to conferences like the IFA Emerging Franchise Conference was great because I got a chance to actually have one-on-one -on -one conversation and interaction with some of those brands. So I can continue to research more and more to find out which brands might be best for us to work with. So overall, great day. I'm gonna go change, grab some food, and enjoy a little bit more of New Orleans. No video after two, three, four, five, six, I, don't, I don't know. After ready for day three? I'm ready. You're, You're looking forward to what you say, Michael Browning Jr.? Yeah, Michael Browning Jr. of uh, Urban Air Adventures, also now unleashed brands because they have about three come on uh, four brands in their portfolio now so he's a great speaker can't wait to actually hear what he has to say final day it's my favorite part of the conference Rick's down there right now for a couple more hours. I can sneak out early and do my favorite thing, edit these videos. Hi. How's everybody doing? That's it? It's the last day. Everyone's all right? Yeah. Did you guys learn some stuff? Yeah. This. The franchising community is it's just so helpful. It's, it's just a, such a welcoming community where people open up and share ideas. And this is one of the conferences where I learned so, so much. And you know, most of the people now that have, have, have come to work with me, Josh Wall, where's Biggs, Nancy Bigley, um, I look up to them, you know, and I, I get off the elevator um, on our floor many, many times and pinch myself. I'm like, this is absolutely crazy. And so the fact that you're sitting here in this room, that I'm up here on this stage, is nothing short of a miracle. So one, I wanted to thank you guys for your commitment to your brands, your teams, your customers, your vendors, and then congratulate you on your perseverance. Like I literally sat in this room before I had an FBD. How many of you are just now having your first FBD? Okay. Before I had ever sold a franchise agreement, I was, where's Josh? In the back, I was taking Josh Wall to coffee in Keller, Texas at the same Starbucks once a week, and he was mentoring me. So a true testament of a leader, of a franchisor, is can a business run successfully when you're at this conference, when you're on vacation? So with that goal in mind, we started creating systems, procedures, processes, manuals, not because we were gonna franchise, but because we couldn't be in three places at once. And each location had about 120 staff. So we started franchising in 2014. From 2014 to 2016, we were doubling the size of our business every year. So my ask for you today, don't quit. Work on your business, work on your habits, work on your processes, find your why, build a team, fall in love with what you do. And remember that if you're crazy enough to think that you can change the world, you're one of those that probably will. Thank you.